Great regard for guys, I want you to picture yourself as a tool, and that every word you say has the potential to either enhance your reputation and authority, or undermine the respect and admiration that women have for you. What if I told you that there are five things that here are five things that you should never tell a woman if you want to be seen as strong, confident, and in control? These aren't just mistakes. They could be deal breakers. After watching this video, you'll know how to maintain your respect, desire, and control over your relationships. Let's get started. I promise you won't want to miss a minute of it. Every man has weaknesses, but when and if he discloses them to a woman matters more. Hidden Power In the early stages of a relationship, it's crucial that you project strength because attraction is frequently based on perception, and desire is fueled by the perception of confidence. In the initial stages of a relationship, a woman is discovering who you are and what you're made of. If her first impression of you is one of weakness, she may begin to subconsciously doubt your stability. Music To elaborate, you might believe that talking to others about your struggles will make you seem more approachable or relatable, but the truth is that women don't admire men who can manage their emotions on their own and don't need emotional support. Instead, they respect men who demonstrate their strength to the world first and their vulnerability later on, after a strong bond of trust has been established. Women need to see that you can face life's obstacles head-on and come out on top. Under pressure, it's important to recognize that revealing too much too soon doesn't just alter how she sees you, it also disrupts the power dynamic. When you expose your weaknesses prematurely, you give her the upper hand. Whether she realizes it or not, she starts to see cracks in your armor and begins to unconsciously question whether you're capable of leading yourself, and by extension leading her. You're no longer the man who has it all together. You're now the man who's struggling to figure it out. Moreover, people naturally judge others based on what's presented to them. If the first thing she learns about you is what you're lacking, she'll have a harder time seeing your strengths later. It's not about being fake or withholding. It's about presenting yourself in a way that commands respect from the outset. Once that respect is in place, you can gradually open up about your challenges by that point. You've already proven that you can handle life's ups and downs, and your vulnerability will be seen as strength rather than weakness. Let us delve even further. Double the depth. The importance of keeping your weaknesses hidden extends beyond image preservation to psychological equilibrium in a partnership. When you disclose too much about yourself too soon, you foster a dynamic in which she feels more like your caregiver or therapist than your partner, something that high-value men don't do. Instead of being someone you emotionally dump all your problems on because you can't handle them yourself, your spouse should be someone who enriches your life. Consider your shortcomings as a fortress. A fortress only opens its gates when it is prepared, when its defenses are strong, and when the timing is appropriate. Until then, the walls stay impenetrable. You need to be that strong, dependable, and composed stronghold. This technique not only commands respect, but it also keeps her interested, intrigued, and invested in learning more about you at the core high value until she's earned the right to know what's within. Section 2. Don't tell her your exact plans for the future. As an ambitious man, you're always thinking about your next move. However, here's the golden rule. Men operate from a place of emotional self-reliance and solve their own problems before involving others. This doesn't mean you never open up. Rather, it means you do so strategically at the right time when the relationship has matured enough for her to see it as a mark of trust rather than a sign of weakness. Never reveal to a woman your exact future plans, especially at first. You might silent moves. You may assume that telling her about your objectives will impress her, but in actuality, it takes away a crucial component, mystery, which is what women want. The moment you provide every detail, you cease to be the fascinating, unpredictable man she is intrigued by, and instead, you become someone whose next move she can anticipate. Why is that? 
Mystery is crucial because it keeps her interested because she's constantly thinking about you and wondering what you're up to. When she doesn't know what your next move is, it keeps the flame alive. Women are naturally curious creatures who want to solve the mystery of you. If you take away the mystery, you take away a big part of what keeps her intrigued, and she'll lose some of the excitement of being with you along with the sense of intrigue. There's also a deeper psychological component to this high-value relationship. Men are aware that sharing every detail of their plans with others can lessen their authority. For example, if you were a general in the military, would you divulge your entire battle plan to anyone who asked? No, because doing so would weaken your position and expose you to vulnerabilities. Similarly, if you reveal your plans too soon, you expose yourself to needless scrutiny. She might begin to question your choices, offer advice that isn't requested, or even unintentionally undermine your goals. For this reason, it's crucial to keep control of your life's direction. Your true power lies in not being bound by other people's expectations or opinions. Imagine your life as a game of chess, where a grandmaster never reveals the moves, and you have the freedom to adapt and change course when you keep your future plans to yourself. This is the essence of strategic living. By keeping your plans close to the vest, you not only maintain control, but also project confidence. His next move will be revealed only when he's ready to attack. If a man divulges every aspect of his future plans, it is because he is trying to get affirmation or agreement on what to do next. Elevated Worth Men forge their own paths and don't need approval from others. They don't care what other people think. Additionally, keeping your plans confidential avoids any possible letdown or criticism. Let's say you share your lofty objectives and, for whatever reason, things don't work out as planned. In addition to dealing with your own feelings of failure, you now have to deal with other people's opinions in the back of your mind. This puts undue pressure on you. Instead, move quietly and let your actions speak for you. Before anyone knows what you've done, you've already achieved your goal. The achievement is entirely your own, untarnished by the expectations or suggestions of others or by withholding your plans. Promote self-reliance. By keeping your cards close to the vest, you are letting the world and her know that you are more than capable of managing your life and that you can pursue your goals without the help of others. This degree of independence attracts women because it demonstrates to them that you are a self-sufficient man who is not influenced by the views of others and that you are completely in control of your fate. Never reveal your money troubles in Section 3. One of the most delicate subjects in a relationship is money. But for high-value men, it's critical to tackle it with a clear plan. Financial difficulties, particularly those that are disclosed early on, can have a negative influence on a woman's opinion of you. Financial stability is about security, not just tangible wealth. And when you exhibit financial instability, it might arouse long-standing concerns about your ability to give that security. This isn't about being naive. It's ingrained in our biological tendencies for women to seek out partners who provide stability, both emotionally and financially. If you disclose financial difficulties, even if you're attempting to address them, it may cast doubt on your capacity to face obstacles in the future. She might begin to wonder if you're the kind of man who can guide and offer, particularly in trying times. However, this doesn't mean you have to disguise who you are or act a certain way. You're not but high-value men know how to handle these kinds of talks. Rather than portraying your financial status as a hardship, frame it as a first step toward something greater. This will demonstrate to her that your capacity to overcome your existing circumstances defines you, rather than your current circumstances defining you. Money signifies more than just money. It also denotes power, control, and freedom. When you openly discuss financial struggles, you're signaling that you lack one of these essential elements, which can lower her opinion of your overall value. Instead of just talking about what's wrong, you're actively working on building your future. Even if you're not where you want to be financially, you still need to project competence and control over your life, and your language should be upbeat when discussing your circumstances. This doesn't imply you have to be a millionaire. Tenacity and inventiveness furthermore talking. 
Early financial difficulties might also throw off the equilibrium in the relationship. If she perceives that you are depending on her for anything, either emotionally or financially. Furthermore, talking early financial difficulties can also throw off the equilibrium in the relationship if she believes that you're depending on her for anything. Stressful finances might change the power dynamics in a way that isn't ideal for a high-value man. Any indication that you're not in charge of your finances can create a level of skepticism that's difficult to get over, so keep talk about money positive. You want to be the leader in your life and in your relationships. It's not about impressing her with wealth. Rather, it's about demonstrating to her that you're on a path toward financial freedom and that you're not easily shaken by temporary setbacks. When it comes to talking about money, less is more. Keep your financial situation private until a level of trust has been established in the relationship. Even then, how you talk about money matters. You might not have everything you want financially right now, but as a high-value man, you're always striving to improve and you have a plan. A high-value man doesn't whine about his financial situation. Instead, he takes action. Therefore, to earn respect and keep the relationship interesting, Share your goals, ambitions, and progress rather than your financial troubles. Don't mention your inner strength insecurities in Section 4. Everybody has insecurities. Everyone on the planet struggles with self-doubt in one way or another. But as a high-value man, you must recognize the harm that comes from openly admitting your insecurities, especially to a woman you're trying to impress or develop a relationship with. Here's the harsh reality. When you openly admit to your insecurities, you project a sense of instability. One of the most appealing qualities in a man is confidence, and the moment you begin to show off your fears, you immediately undermine that foundation. To put it another way, would you be drawn to a leader who freely expressed doubt about his capacity to lead? You would begin to wonder if he could handle difficult situations, and you would lose confidence in yourself if you followed him. The same is true in relationships. When you confide in a woman, you're essentially telling her that you don't fully believe in yourself, which makes it easier for her to lose faith in you as well. It's important to realize that women want a man who can stand strong on his own, not someone who can take them on. That doesn't mean you should never be vulnerable or open with a woman. Rather, early on, timing and communication are crucial. Once a relationship has developed and trust has been established, you can share some of your deeper ideas, but even then, moderation is key. You don't want to be the guy who is always in need of validation or reassurance. Double the depth. In fact, if you constantly ask for validation or reassurance from a woman, she will leave your relationship faster than almost anything else. When you start opening up to her about your insecurities, you're giving her emotional power, and whether she realizes it or not, that changes her opinion of you. Instead of seeing you as a rock, she may start to see you as someone she needs to take care of emotionally. That's not a position you want to be in as a high-value man. It's not about acting as though you don't have fears. It's about how you manage them. High-value men deal with their fears in isolation and take steps to get over their self-doubt instead of looking to other people for comfort. This is where true strength comes from. Facing your fears head-on without apologizing. Having to be validated by someone else demonstrates to the outside world that you are in charge of your own thoughts and feelings. But here's the thing. When you don't own up to your fears, you actually make room for improvement because you give yourself permission to work on your perceived flaws rather than continuously discussing them. The thing that keeps women interested in high-value men is their constant pursuit of improvement. They don't sit around lamenting their shortcomings. Instead, they take action to make themselves better. This is what makes them stand out as men of true value. Section 5. Don't disclose prior mistakes too soon. Everybody has a past, and failures come along with it. However, as high-value men, here's the thing. When it comes to relationships, especially early on, you need to be careful about how and when you discuss your prior failures. Your failures don't define you. How you respond to them does. Early in a past lessons relationship, discussing a lot about your failures can make you appear less competent, capable, and ultimately less desirable. Further explanation. 
It's not that you should conceal your shortcomings entirely, there is a time and place for everything, but you run the risk of coming across as a man who is incapable of making the proper decisions if you talk about your blunders too quickly. Women are drawn to successful guys, so it's important to talk on your successes rather than your mistakes in the past. If you spend too much time thinking about what went wrong in the past, you're effectively telling her this is who you used to be, and maybe still are. Accentuate your current accomplishments and untapped potential. It's important to demonstrate that you've grown from your experiences and have learned from them, rather than trying to appear flawless. High-value men take responsibility for their failures, but they don't dwell on them. They move forward with confidence knowing that every mistake was a lesson, not a defining characteristic of who they are. Double the depth. There's also a psychological element at play here when you reveal past failures too soon. You create an imbalance in how she views you. Instead of seeing the strong, competent man you are today, she might start focusing on who you were when you made those mistakes. And the truth is, many people consciously or not tend to judge others by their past. It's unfair, but it's human nature. By withholding that information until the right time, you give her the opportunity to see your strengths first. So when you do, eventually talk about your past, it's framed in a much more favorable light. Moreover, discussing failures can make you seem like you're still carrying emotional baggage when you talk about past mistakes or failed relationships. It can come across as if you haven't fully moved on or learned from those experiences. Women want to be with men who have a clear sense of direction and purpose, not men who are stuck in the past by keeping your failures to yourself. Initially, you project an image of a man who's focused on the future future, not one who's still entangled in final truth. The mistakes of the past, and let's take it one step further. Failure is a part of every success story. But how you communicate that story makes all the difference instead of presenting your failures as things that happened to you. Talk about how they were stepping stones toward the man you are today. High value. When it comes time to talk about your past, frame your failures as necessary challenges that propel you toward success rather than as regrets that hold you back. Conclusion. The power of silence and strength. Men don't play the victim. Instead, they take full ownership of their experiences and use them to fuel their growth. The influence of a lofty ideal man lies not just in what he says, but also, and maybe more significantly, in what he decides not to say. When employed wisely, quiet can be one of your greatest strengths. It enables you to preserve authority, respect, and an air of mystery that piques women's interest by withholding information about your plans and shortcomings from them too soon. Financial difficulties, fears, or past setbacks are reasons to guard your reputation and your emotional strength. Elevated Worth Men are aware that self-control is a virtue. They realize that not every idea or feeling has to be expressed, and that preserving one's privacy is essential to attracting and keeping respect. Silence isn't about lying. It's about controlling your story. When you do talk, your words have more weight, and sharing personal information is viewed as an honor rather than a burden. In the end, the less you share, the more power you retain, and that, my friends, is the hallmark of a high-value man.